It is a big day for the Diocese of Lagos. Their seventh bishop is celebrating 70th birthday and also retiring from active service to the Anglican Communion after 46 years. For 18 years, the Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Adebola Olanrewa Ju Ademowo served as the Bishop of Lagos Diocese. He was also the Dean Emeritus of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. In this special service, his grandson and son took the Bible readings. Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Ademowo was ordained a priest at the age of 24. In the first 10 years after his ordination, he was preferred canon and later archdeacon. He served in Elisha Archdeaconry, then Elisha Diocese, for 28 years. 16 years after consecration as the Bishop of Elisha Diocese, he was admitted to the diaconate. Many are judged such as rare feet. In this service, there are 67 bishops, three governors from Lagos, Ugu, and Delta states, other politicians, industrialists, and many accomplished individuals in different fields of endeavor. Reading from Psalms chapter 103, verses 1 to 5, the most reverend Dr. Nicholas Oko, the Archbishop of Abuja and Primate, of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion spoke on God's goodness. In 70 years, Your Grace, you have enjoyed the mercy of God, the grace of God. In your life, you were not killed when you were under 10. It's possible. Every child could be killed by the mother if she so desires. You and your family have enjoyed this forgiveness in your marriage, one to another. You are not snobbish, you are friendly, and you interact, you and your wife, freely. The women fellowship among the bishop's wives and so on. They speak volume about her and the whole family. You are very interested in the ordinary people. During standing committee meetings, we won't expect you again to come and lie on it up. That we will remember you. We will remember the good of blessings. <laughs> and of course, we will remember the priority of labor dances. As you always insist. And then we shall remember, I am a fool. Is it cereal or cereal? <laughs> we will remember. I beg your pardon. The most reverend Dr. Ademowo, his family and friends are grateful to God for his manifold blessings. The demo was have been married for 42 years. I would say the grace of God, the fear of God, prayers. Then selflessness and sacrifice. Our ministry is a joint ministry. And it has been that of team ministry. If you still hold that wrong idea of thinking that you've been ordained, your wife is an appendage, 
Your wife is a parasite. The two of you, you are meant to do the work together. He's a very lovely man. Not just because he's my husband, but he's a very strict person. A good disciplinarian and a cultured man. Indomitable. Inimitable. Indefatigable and quintessential personality in the person of mommy who has made it possible for me to enjoy a very peaceful home and will personally supervise my meals particularly semovita with okra soup vegetables and obono soup they're blessed with five children who are doing well in their careers he's a disciplinarian and he's a very kind father daddy is a prayer warrior and he's very tolerant he's very cool-headed very calm i invite those qualities about him into my marriage he's someone that has brought us up well uh, with firmness but also very loving daddy has been very inspirational in in a lot of ways uh, I think the one to highlight for a day like this is, is, is his generosity. I'm his only daughter, so we sort of have a very good relationship. Um, he's like the first male friend I ever had. We're very close and we talk a lot, we chat a lot. My mom is very forgiving. My mom is a proper, proper wife. Like, sometimes we're even quarreling, we are like, sincerely, do you really have to make this? Do you have to, I mean, but she would do stuff selflessly without even thinking about herself. My father didn't know I wanted to be a priest. I didn't tell him. Uh, I was already on my way to the seminary before he got to know. And that's because everybody has his own life. He believes that. He encourages you to do what you, uh, you believe in. And um, of course, uh, when I told him, he was fine with it. A peculiar thing about him is that he loves excellence. They have nine grandchildren. My grandpa is a good grandpa. He buys loads of things for me if I ask him to. And he always helps me if I need him. So he's, my, he's the best grandpa I've had for a long, long time. So he's, I love him and he's the best. Chief Emeka Nyoko, the third Commonwealth Secretary General, spoke highly about a man he has known for many years. I believe that it is God's special favor on our celebrant that his 70th birthday and the date of his retirement have both fallen on a Sunday, a day of worship. Bishop Ademowo is retiring from his seat at the Cathedral Church of Christ. Although my wife's and my place of regular worship in Lagos is St. John's Anglican Church in Falomo, the Cathedral has a very special place in our hearts because it was at the Cathedral that my wife and I got married on November 10, 1962. 70 years of beautiful and resourceful life. 46 years of glorious ordained ministry. 42 years of blissful marriage. And 29 years of effective episcopate. The most reverend Dr. Ephraim Ademawa says, It pays to know, love, follow, and serve the Lord. The Ademawas have retired from active service, but they pledge to remain God's servants throughout their lives.